In April of this year, Asmongold did an interview with World of Warcraft game director Ian Hazakostas. Despite the main topic being towards the new retail expansion, Dragonflight, they touched on the future of Classic after Wrath concludes, asking the big question, where does Classic go next? Here's what was said about it. Next thing I was wondering about is the, uh, what do you think is going to happen? Like now Wrath of the Lich King Classic coming out, obviously Wrath of the Lich King is going to run its course, then what? Um, yeah, so at this point, you know, we I'd love to hear from you, from the community as a whole, what you want to come next. Uh, I think okay. we're gonna have, you know, we have a, a player base that really has made Classic their home. Lots of stuff is on the table, but could be, I really welcome that discussion now that the fact that we're doing Wrath is, you know, no longer the world's worst kept secret and actually something that's known, but we're listening. In short, what do you want to happen? And the other day, the first big step towards answering that question has been sent out. A survey. As per usual, check your Battle.net email to see if you were a lucky winner. The survey is massive, so today I'm going to try and go over the most interesting points. Starting off with a bomb and straight up asking what's next as a totally open-ended question. You have to imagine most of the answers here would be Kata or Classic Plus. I know and I do read it quite often often that a lot of people didn't like Kata for various reasons and want to treat the end of Wrath as the end of Classic, which is fine if you want to do that, it is a game and you play the version you like, but Blizzard isn't gonna just go and close this whole thing down a few months after Arthas goes down. Cataclysm had a low of 9.1 million active subs and Mr. Pandaria had a low of 6.8 for example. If 10% of that are active in the Classic version, by today's standards, that's a very large MMO and a very successful one. Also, the whole point of the survey is to find out what people didn't like about Kata and how it could be better. If you have no intentions of playing it, either way, it kind of doesn't really matter. As for me, if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know I actually quite like a lot of things which Kata does. Most notably, I think, to this day, it has the best opening tier of raiding that's ever been done in World of Warcraft, which was Tier 11 in Blackwing Descent, Bastion of Twilight, and Throne of the Four Winds. Firelands was also a lot of fun, but at the same time, maybe we don't need to copy everything that Kata did now that we're taking a more some changes route for Wrath. Maybe even extend that to loads of changes for Kata or beyond. Maybe enough to call it Classic Plus, perhaps. Next, we have a breakdown of the core features added in Cataclysm. I'll take a pause and read through these as a bit of a refresher of what actually happened back then. A few comments I have here is on top of playable races, there were new playable race and class combos such as Under. Dead Hunter, Tauren Paladin, Gnome Priest, Troll Druid, and so on. They added archaeology as a secondary profession, which felt as though it was kind of not overly too well received. I remember it being incredibly grindy and slow, and I just never bothered with it. You could get some really cool stuff with it though, like epic weapons such as Zinrock, or even mounts like the fossilized raptor. They mentioned rated battlegrounds here in Kata. I feel like that's a free win for World of Warcraft whenever it's added to the game, and a lot of people would have liked that feature even if it was in Wrath. The biggest points which people didn't like would be the world revamp that changed Azeroth significantly, as well as LFR. Streamlining the talents is also up there, I think. And by the way, it wasn't just reducing talents from 71 down to 41. Now you had to fully spend 31 points in a tree you picked before you could explore the other two trees. So outside of your talent tree of choice, you only had 10 points left, which was considerably more restrictive than Classic, TBC, or Wrath was, where you can do just about anything you want. One comment I have about this is that talents throughout Classic so far have been pretty standardized as there are certain good builds. You can probably even tell me what the good builds are for your class. And a huge part of what made the old talent trees interesting is that they changed very often with each major content patch, sometimes in between each major content patch. Blizzard did specialization reworks mid-expansion back then. This doesn't happen for World of Warcraft anymore and it certainly doesn't happen in Classic. I'd bet the vast majority of players copy paste they build off a website whenever it comes to PvE or PvP. Also, if they remove the restriction of having to spend 31 points before you can access the other trees, it would totally revamp everything that is known about Kata class design. Just something to think about. They also say Cataclysm had quality of life such as AoE looting, I think that was the Mr. Pandaria pre-patch, bell alerts for procs, I've literally installed an add-on which already does this to the game for Wrath. It's it's called Classic Spell Activations, it's pretty cool if you play a class with procs, you should check it out. It also had things such as Transmog, so your Paladin can wear that tier 2 set forever, as well as the guild system, which was, uh, yeah, interesting. 
Remember the cesspool spam invite guilds which just wanted you to join so they could skim gold from when you quested, but then you kind of did want to be in any guild at all because you got bonus XP, you got mass summon, you got mass res, you got access to new heirlooms. They were kind of good at the same time. What about Tolbarad? There's no way that doesn't end up being a battleground like Wintergrass will be by the way. Does anyone else remember standing with a raid group on the bridge to the entrance of the zone and when the battle was about to end you ran in and you still got rewarded as if you'd been in the entire battle. What an absolute fiesta that zone was. It was fun though. There's lots of changes. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. The survey then goes on to ask how interested you would be in playing the next classic expansion. Not even cataclysm per se, just the next expansion. Paying attention to the wording here. And then based upon those previously listed features, from a very interested to very uninterested. If there was ever a survey that I wish I got, this would be the one. Can you just put a poll booth in the game that redirects people to the survey? or something blizzard you mentioned considering it a while ago that would be great moving down to the next section then it asks people to select the most and least liked aspects of cataclysm as an expansion from class design changes tolbarad pvp reforging unified raid lockouts and loot account wide mounts and pets as well as minor quality of life changes towards the bottom next the options are listed again where the person taking the survey can elaborate on why they like or don't like something we've not had the chance to do anything other than tick boxes so far in survey sport classic so this is pretty cool now the next bit is interesting so it asks you to pick a color from the list Depending on the colour you pick, you're then asked a different follow-up question. I suppose the goal here is to randomise answers a little bit. As in, if somebody who is super into changes saw a pro changes option, they're going to pick that, but they won't know what they're getting here and could pick something which is really anti-changes. How will that affect their answers? Will it be consistent? Will it be different? At least that's how I read into it. Some of the options have been shared, including a very pro changes one here, such as an expansion that retains some pre cata features that were streamlined or simplified. You have to imagine this was linked to the talent rework. Excluding LFR, this is practically a given. If there's no LFD in RAF, there is no LFR in Kata. The level cap being raised to 85. I mean, I guess the new zones have to be there for something. Two new races in Goblin and Worgen. I always thought the new Kata races look kind of goofy, to be honest, but I thought the new race class combos were cool. The survey then goes on to ask why you like or dislike those things, as well as how it would affect your perception of Kata as a whole. Finally, at the end of the last Last question, which of the following most closely aligns with what you would want as the next expansion of Classic after Wrath? A no changes Kata, seasonal servers for the expansions we've already done, some changes Kata, don't know, or none of the above. So I will say that the overall options push you more toward finding out what the player did or did not like about Kata and how it should be changed to make it a more appealing experience. I know for many of us for a long, long time, we've wanted Blizzard to fully explore the idea of taking Classic in a direction that Jagex has done with old school RuneScape in doing Classic Plus. This would really begin at the end of Wrath the Lich King, I feel, and would aim to take the game in a different direction by creating new content in the style of the Classic game. Some popular examples of Classic Plus ideas are a Scarlet Crusade raid, a Furbolg theme raid, opening new endgame zones, exploring the idea of expanding the talent trees, and so on. World of Warcraft and Old School RuneScape are very different though, not only for the obvious reasons, but World of Warcraft's content is delivered in a much more vertical manner. We outgear and outlevel things really fast in WoW, and then they're just not relevant again. On Old School RuneScape, content can remain relevant for a huge range of players for much, much longer. Basically, they get way more mileage out of updates than I think a Classic Plus ever would. And for World of Warcraft, there's loads of content from the future that personally I would love to do again. Firelands, the Throne of Thunder, I like Nighthold as a raid a lot, Suramar was the best open world city Blizzard have ever done, the Timeless Isle was a lot of fun when it released, and so on. And many players who have played World of Warcraft throughout the years will have certain bits of the game that they will want to revisit again. I do think without a doubt Classic Plus is the best long term option, and I mean long term long term like having classic be relevant many years from now but at the same time i think there's going to be enough demand for the likes of cataclysm mop and so on to do them again before that option is seriously considered all in all though i've always believed that blizzard would do kata and beyond and i want to say here it is in writing they're just figuring out the details now who knows what blizzard devs read on various content videos like this and posts but do drop your thoughts down below about the survey what you did and what you did not like about kata and what 
what you would ideally like to see after Wrath concludes. That's everything for today. Thank you all so much for watching and listening in, and I shall see you all in the next one very soon.